Can you introduce yourself and the other members who are with you on this uh, that tour? Okay, it's myself, Chuck Schuldiner, on lead guitar and vocals. We have Paul Masvidal on lead guitar also. We have Sean Reinert on drums and Scott Carino on bass. Yeah. And weren't you afraid of not finding uh, the right musicians uh, to join you on this tour? Uh, it's very difficult to find the correct people. Uh, these are really great musicians I have with me, so I feel very good about the performance of each person, which is, you know, a very uh, reassuring feeling, definitely. Yeah. Um, you find a, a new bass player, uh, Scott Carino? Yes. Uh, what can you tell uh, us about him? Uh, Scott, I've known him for a few years. Uh, he lives a couple hours from where I live in Florida, and uh, our bands have played together before. He's in a band called Fester, a very technical metal band, and we play shows together. And so I've known him for a while, and he's a really great guy and a great bass player. And, uh, and what are his good qualities? Uh, he's a very funny guy, you know, cheerful, fun to be around, and also definitely a very professional musician. Yeah. Um, well, you will still have the two Cynic members yes. uh, in the lineup, but you, you will have to find many members. Uh, I'd like to eventually, yes. That would be did cool. You, did you already have many auditions for the big places in Texas? Um, no, actually, uh, Scott was the first choice. Yeah. And definitely, I, I knew it, uh, he could definitely do it, you know, because Steve is full-time in status. So, you know, we wouldn't have time to work with him after the album. And uh, a guitarist and a drummer? Right. You will find them when you go back? Um, yes, yeah, so I'll probably most likely end up doing that because the Sean and Paul have their band, you know, yes. definitely on hold for now, but they'll continue when we get back. Uh, which qualities do you request from uh, auditioning uh, positions? Um, definitely originality. I like people to be original, um, professional, and uh, just wanting to have fun and easy to get along with. You know, that's, you know, part of the music is to enjoy yourself and have fun. So we can call that now for the moment a project band? Pardon me? Can we call that for the moment a project band? Oh, I guess you can call it a project band. I just look at it as a band, mm -hmm. you know. Definitely, I I wish it was full time members, but you know, as long as the music gets out, you know, I'm happy at this point. Yeah, that's the name. Definitely. We, we all know there have been some bad things said about. Oh, uh, there's been many, yeah. many bad things yeah. said about. Was it hard to cope all all these things? It was uh, very difficult knowing that. Unfortunately, people believe lies a lot. Most people don't want to wait and find out the truth. They assume right away. They almost want to believe. They hear something. Yeah, and they, they like it because it's bad, which is wrong, you know, and and people were fed lies and they they consumed the lies and it got bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's definitely a drag when people have no idea what I'm about, but yet they talk like they do. You know, it's not right. And uh, I'm just here to perform and hopefully make people think otherwise. And what have you learned from it? I've learned not to be so trusting. Uh, i learned you have to be very cautious in life, who to trust, especially because we're all vulnerable. We become vulnerable when we trust. I mean, I do trust certain people. I do have people I love and trust in my life. But you, you do have to be careful, you know, because I lost people who I thought were my best friends, you know, and that kind of gave me a jolt of reality, you know. Uh, the, the mask, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, but there were still people who had played with you, and uh, now there's a new death album called Human. Yes. Um, with you and for death songs. Right. How uh, long have you worked on this album? Um, well, we rehearsed as a band for about two months. It isn't really very long, but it's just enough time to get everything together. And I think sometimes when you work under pressure, you come out with something real fresh and spontaneous, and that's what this album pretty much was. You know, I had a lot of the material written, and we got together and just, you know, worked real hard. Yeah. Uh, you've written all music and lyrics yourself. Yes. So the three other members uh, didn't have, have anything to say about uh, how things 
uh, as far as the writing uh, is already you know written the music and lyrics but their professionalism and abilities came through the album definitely you know Sean is definitely a very noticeable drummer and uh, I'm very happy that I was able to have a, a professional drummer like Sean and you know the I think everything's real strong in each department so it's definitely you know help freshen things up having new people you know what's your opinion about this? I think it's a very good reflection of my ideas and certain ways I feel about life and uh, certain things we all have to deal with or we all see as as humans and uh, it also makes a statement for myself that I'm also a person in this world and I don't get special treatment just because I'm in a band I'm not rich you know I'm far far from being rich and uh, you know I'm just a person just like anyone else Definitely. What are the points of improvement? Oh, just on human? Yeah. I think lyrically and everything, musically, everything has gone in another on another step up. You know, I want each album to definitely be better than the previous and be a progression. You know, I think it's important to show that you're improving at what you're doing. It has to be. Yeah, exactly. Whether you're a tennis player or a musician or a bowler, you know, Always bowler. Better. Exactly, to you know, push yourself. So I just want to, you know, I think on human there's a noticeable improvement, definitely. Uh, uh, which instruments can you play? Uh, I just play guitar right now. I'd like to play violin. I like to learn. Uh, no, I've really just concentrated on uh, guitar. Yeah. And uh, how old were you when you started to play guitar? Um, well, when I had my first guitar, I was eight years old, you know, Kiss Freak. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I didn't start really playing seriously until I was 16. And sing? Uh, I didn't start singing until I was around 17 and a half, 17, something like that. Um, wasn't there a possibility that you uh, could have recorded a uh, human album all by yourself? Uh, no, that, um, it wouldn't have been the same. <laughs> Have to learn, uh, drums, uh, yeah, it would have been really impossible. <laughs> I, I like that real band feeling, <laughs> definitely. Not the wrong man. Right, yeah. Uh, are you a perfectionist? I think when it comes to uh, dad, I think I try to get things as perfect as I can according to my judgment, you know. Nothing's really perfect, but... You know, I definitely like to try to make things as best as I can because I'm going to have to live with it forever, you know, and it's yeah. definitely a reflection of what I have to offer, so it's quite important. And are you a difficult person to learn? Uh, no, not at all. I'm, I'm too easy sometimes. <laughs> I think that's how I've been taken advantage of in the past. People have been, you know, people around me I've treated like my best friends and I've given a lot more than anyone would have. And I think sometimes when you do that, People take advantage of that that niceness, you know, that being overly nice in a way. Um, but I definitely don't want to let change things that have happened to me change the way I am. You know, I just I know I'm not a bad person. I'll continue being the way I am. That's an easygoing, mellow person. Yeah, and it's very hard to do that when you have so much coming down on you. You're always in the spotlight of negativity. Too much pressure. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure to be, you know, because, you know, it, people are prejudging. When people prejudge, it's easy to kind of get worried about, well, what if I don't hear someone yelling to me and I keep walking? Are they going to say, hey, Chuck's a jerk, he's really a jerk, and they're going to run off and tell their friends? But, you know, I'm kind of on guard in a way. I'm trying to really communicate with people and, you know, let people know what's up. Hopefully a little more wealthier. Hopefully I'll have some money uh, at that point. Um, I don't really know. You know, I, I want to keep performing. I want to keep progressing. And if you know, if I had an urge to do something else, maybe one day I'll do a side thing, something different. And you know, just for my own desires. You know, because I'm also I'm really into a lot of different type of stuff. I really don't listen to very much death metal. Yeah. You know, really, I 
That's, uh, Too much. Our program is all about. We play all kinds of. Music. I noticed. That's great. Yeah. It's very great. It's the open-minded people. Um, do you have plans for the future? Um, to just overcome all the lies and all the the bad press I've received. To keep progressing and improving at what I do. To learn from life and um, hopefully better myself. You know. Yeah. Well, we hope you will maintain the biggest and best set that will dance in Florida. And uh, we we'll wish you all the success you need in uh, for 1992. Thank you very much. Thanks. Great.